Some say women are born with inherited value, but men have to create value for themselves. Reality hits men harder than women. While many average women expect high-value men, average men understand where they fall in the hierarchy. High-value men sit at the top of the social pyramid. And again, we're talking about high-value skills and attributes here, not a person's intrinsic value as a human being. Out of all men, these are the ones who've achieved the highest success and recognition in life. They get to live life by very different rules as many women are interested in them and many other men want to be in their circle. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding if you are one of them or at least know what you need to improve on to be referred to as one. Here are 15 signs of a high value man. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Number 1. Top 5 to 10% of the social hierarchy ladder. The simplest metric is earnings. High value men are in the top 10% of earners. They earn six figures or more. That translates to over $15,000 a month, every month, just to get into the top 10%. In order to make it to the top 1% of earners, you need to be considered bringing home over $70,000 a month. And with inflation changing the dynamic like crazy, that number is only going up. High value men are able to do it over and over again. Everyone can have a good year or a good season, maybe even get lucky for a while. But high value men are high value consistently. The really high value men, the ones making up the 1% of all men, have earned over $1 million per year for over three years, and they will earn that for the next three. Just based on income statistics alone, there are substantially fewer high value men than beautiful women. The kind of man that usually ends up being at this level of earnings are hyper-determined, hyper-focused, and have traded at least one decade of their lives in pursuit of success. For years, they've had little to no social life because they were fully focused on their career. Now that they've made it, they can truly enjoy the spoils of their work. Almost all women, the straight ones at least, want a high-value man because of the lifestyle they can provide, which makes him a scarce resource in high demand. And because of this obsessive personality needed to get him to the top, high-value men almost never settle for mediocrity in any other part of their lives. Number 2. Someone who has transformed his life and is able to continuously do it based on choice. You know how other men wish their lives were different? High value men have the power, the skills, the mindset, and the understanding of what it takes to do it on demand. His life is proof of that. High value men are men who, despite starting alongside everybody else, have managed through sheer dedication to detach themselves from the rest and climb to the top. Low value men think that having pictures with cars, sleeping with a lot of women, and making a lot of money is what makes you high value. But that's not it, boys. High value is determined by what you're capable of and the ability to change reality to fit your goals. You're looking at the outcome, not the cause. You can't fake it till you make it when it comes to being a high value man. Integrity plays a big role in this as it stops the bullshit. High value men don't need to pretend or say they are high value. This public perception is a byproduct of their main focus, not the other way around. This puts them in a position of control over their lives. And speaking of control, number three, in control of his own time. High value men prioritize freedom and time is the most valuable asset you have which is why it doesn't matter if you drive a Mercedes, if you drive it on your way to a nine to five job and other people tell you when to show up and what to wear, that's not freedom, you're not free. You can be a high earner and not be a high value man because you don't own your own life, someone else does. This concept is called the golden handcuffs. The money is so good you're trading your time and freedom for it. It takes several years before you realize you've made a bad trade. This is why high value men are in most cases older. You can't be a high value man in your 20s because you haven't been through enough real life to acquire wisdom, no matter how many videos you've watched. Number four, maxed out stats. 
High value men are exceptional in at least one field, which is so great nobody cares about the rest. Stephen Hawking got married and even had a few affairs despite not being able to talk, walk, or move. That's the power of maxing out one of your stats. If you max out any of your stats, you don't even have to be one of the highest earners to qualify as a high value man because it will open up your life to greatness. Max out persuasion and you become a politician with political power. Max out your ability to entertain and you become a famous artist. Once you max out anything of value, it can always be transitioned into money and fame. High value men rank high in ethics. They're competitive, but always remain ethical. These men value equality of opportunity because they know they can perform based on their own track record. Number five, recognized by other high value peers. There's no such thing as a high value Sigma male. Sigma males are these individuals who see themselves as lone wolves. That's bullshit, we've experienced it ourselves. In our early 20s, we locked ourselves in a room and went full focus on building a life for ourselves. It took roughly seven years to get there, and we saw ourselves as successful, only to realize that in the process, we've become an island. So we began building bridges. The big shock was that when we realized all the folks at the top of the pyramid were already hanging out with each other. Discipline and hard work qualify you to be in the room, but you need to build relationships if you really want a deserving seat at the table. We don't care if you think of yourself as a high value man. The only way to really know is when other high value men give you their stamp of approval and allow you to join their ranks. Your value is partially determined by the people you surround yourself with. There's a nobility to high value. Both peers and people of a lower value recognize your efforts, and this is why most men can't do it. You might get lucky once, but you'll meet the same people you stepped on going up on your way back down. Number six, has a valuable network. What it would take you three to four years to do on your own can be achieved in six months if you have a powerful network. Men at the top work in packs when it comes to tackling projects beyond one's solo ability. They leverage each other's relationships, infrastructure, and knowledge to minimize risk. They trust each other to hold their word and put their money in actions where their mouth is. That's why the rich are getting richer, because they're working together to ensure it. And that's the thing. Poor people actually despise other poor people, which stops them from collaborating. Because high value men have built this valuable network around them, others will come to them trying to carry favor. And at this point, it's like a snowball rolling downhill. The more valuable your network is, the more high value people will want to join it. Number seven, is an employer. High value men are able to provide a livelihood to others, and this means he's able to generate opportunity, structure, and a way for others to take care of their own families. It's not necessarily that you're an entrepreneur. If you're high up in the corporate ladder, you can exercise your power and provide opportunity to others. Although there's an element of self-interest involved, the benefit brought to the other party ensures a position higher in the hierarchy. High value men are able to see opportunity when other people don't. You earn money and status based on your ability to see into the future. Low value men can barely see toward the end of the day or maybe week. They usually live paycheck to paycheck. Average value men can see toward the end of the month or the quarter. They're usually middle management or higher valued employees. High value men see opportunity in years and decades. Number eight, visible and intriguing. You know who high value men are. Everybody does. You might not know them, but you know of them. They're visible. They're around. They're always doing something extraordinary, which puts a spotlight on them. High value men move differently. For everybody else, this is intriguing. How is this person able to do so much consistently? Well, the secret lies in the management of resources. At the end of the day, you have the same number of hours in a day as they do, but they're not being managed in the same way. 
you recognize what they've built and what position they occupy in society. Others understand the title of their occupation. They're not vaguely entrepreneurs. They're the CEO of Tesla. You know what the function is and you know what the company is. Their activity is transparent, legal and by the book. They're winning the game fair and square. Nobody can say otherwise. You can't be a high value man and be in jail. You can't be a high value man hustling people. There's no honor among thieves. Trust and reputation are of the utmost importance as you'll learn later today. Number nine, can afford to walk away. This right here is the most powerful piece of information you will need in your life and the reason why so many people subscribe to our channel. The person who can afford to walk away has all the power. If you're in a business negotiation, the one who can walk away from the deal because they can make it somewhere else on their own terms has all the power. If you're dating someone who's playing games and you can walk away, you've got all the power. Others will notice and they'll put you on a pedestal because real power is rare. The more valuable the thing you're willing to walk away from is, the more powerful you are perceived. And this is why you can't put high value men in the friend zone. While every other man is chasing after partners, a high value man will attract them through their status and they'll always have options. Games are for children. High value men don't play them because they can afford to walk away. Number 10. Has coaches keeping him at top performance? High value men never stop learning. They never stop climbing. For them, the climb is the thrill. In order to do so, high value men leverage the experience of others to get things done quicker. You'll never meet a high value man who doesn't read, who doesn't hang out with other successful people in order to learn from them. High value men pay performance coaches to make sure they operate at the highest level. These coaches are there to make sure the mindset is right and the objective is clear on a consistent basis. Pick any hedge fund manager and you'll see they're paying over $100,000 a year to a high performance coach just to make sure they don't slip up. But someone like you probably can't afford that. We learned from them and wanted to make sure this luxury is available to everyone. So we paid these coaches on your behalf so you can access them through the Alux app at $14.99 a month. Go to alux.com slash app right now and download the app. It's gonna be a game changer for you. The 10 minutes per day sessions will slowly build you up over time. Your income should increase, your stress should lower, and you will bring order into the chaos of your life. Ready to be more than what you are right now? Go get the Alux app. Number 11, master of probability, not luck. Low value men operate in luck. High value men operate in probability. How likely is something to happen if these are the inputs? People look at them as risk takers, but that's actually the opposite of what they do. High value men look at the setup how a situation is put together and how it will impact the results. Then based on expertise, they slowly shift the odds in their favor and they do that consistently. If your odds of success are over 50%, then it makes sense to run the experiment for as long as possible because you will inevitably win. That's why high value men have built infrastructure around them. These men have lawyers, accountants, financial advisors. They have a diversified portfolio of assets, all minimizing risk and increasing return. Number 12, he's not an almost. Almost graduated, almost got the job, almost got rich, almost got laid, almost closed the client, almost made it work. So many people are almost in their results. And you see it all the time when people say, but I really tried, or I put in a lot of effort. High value men only value end results. It doesn't matter how hard you tried. That's something reserved for little league baseball, not for adults. They take full ownership over everything that happens in their life. If something goes wrong, they aren't ready or smart enough to see it coming, so there's still room for improvement. 
Number 13. Life has to keep going up. High value men derive value from growth. A man that's not growing is a man that's just waiting to die. And growth for men comes in many ways. Professional, physical, emotional, spiritual, intellectual. A man whose value is going down is seen as a liability, not an asset. High value men don't go through a midlife crisis because their life is full. If a high value man were to die today, he would know that he's lived a fulfilling life and that he made the most out of it. Growth and fulfillment come from the way you live your life. You might be the person with the most money in the bank account, but you will still lose if you haven't lived at all. Most men live lives of quiet desperation. They hope that one day something will happen where they will be able to live for themselves. Number 14. Able, Confident, and Assertive when a high-value man walks into a room, everybody knows it. He's confident in his ability because he's proven it in the past and knows he can do it again. These are not the peacock men you see these days masquerading as high-value. They have true value based on who they have become. High-value men are assertive. They let the world know what they want and that they're going after it. High-value men have no problem to compete and make it clear they are a dominant force. These men aren't necessarily the strongest, but they're the most capable. These men are adaptive. Take everything away from them and they'll still be able to get it back because they didn't get lucky. Because look, you can't take away who they are and what they know. It'll take them substantially less this time around because they know what to do and how to do it. High-value men are high-value no matter where they are in the world. Self-confidence and assertiveness are both things that one can learn. Every month, we develop a learning pack available in the Alux app for purchase or included in the premium subscription. This month's pack is about self-confidence and what it takes to master it, and it's going live today. That's why we keep telling you about the app. It'll blow you away just how much value there is in it. Number 15. Reputation and Legacy Reputation is the most valuable thing a man can build from a status perspective. Children are the most valuable thing a man can have from a legacy perspective, and both of them are extremely important to a high-value man. They know their reputation needs to be protected at all costs. That's why you don't see high-value men with low-value women, at least not in public, if you know what I mean. Men are status driven, so the partner they choose to be with should increase his status. You can tell a lot about a person based on who they choose to build a life and family with. If you watched our high value woman video, you know what a high value man looks for in a partner and we guarantee it's different than what you expect. Because high value men are focused on perpetual growth and can provide an incredible lifestyle for their family, it's important that his legacy be carefully looked after. A high value man is a present father, but because of the situation, he's responsible for more than the household. That's why the partner needs to be able to raise exceptional children. The two forms of legacy a man leaves behind are his children and his work. High-value men understand that time is finite and he wants something to live beyond him. You are the result of thousands of years of evolution and bloodline overcoming incredible adversity. Although one can choose to not have children and still make an impact on the world, it's a shame to allow your bloodline to die. Actually, let's end it here. Next Sunday, we're going to do a final video on what it means to be a high-value couple, and then we'll wrap this series up. It's time you guys join the conversation. What else makes a high-value man? We know you're smart, so go ahead and contribute. And as for those of you still watching, here's your well-deserved bonus. A clown is a clown, even if you put him on a throne. We've noticed a rise in the interest of men-centered content, which is why we decided to make this entire series. The irony is, you don't become a high-value man by talking down to women and making your money off the recordings. The same way you're not considered a success if you get rich by teaching others how to get rich, it just doesn't work that way. 
We made our first million before talking about money. Most of these men are pretenders and actually keeping the entire process back. It's the same here. Become high value first and then talk about it and do so from a statistical perspective where you throw in personal experience. The problem that we see with this content is that although it's portrayed as self-help, it actually isn't in many cases. Most of the content produced on the topic is entertainment only, and we take problem with this because that's not benefiting the listener. A cold shower is welcome only if the path to improvement is available by it. That's why we did the duality of these videos, both low value and high value, to reflect both ends of the spectrum. In reality, most people watching this video will fall somewhere in the middle, but at least now you know what not to do and what to aspire to do. High value men don't talk about themselves as pimps. High value men don't need to be loud. High value men aren't trying to win because they've already won. For as long as you live, remember this. The rich man in the room doesn't have to tell you he's rich. The problem lies when at the helm of the conversation we have people who don't fit the job description. Put a clown on a throne and the entire kingdom becomes a circus. And we feel like this is happening in this space right now. There's some foundation of truth, but not everything that glitters is gold. If you agree with this take on high value men, write the word gold in the comments. That way we can differentiate from everything else that only glitters. Thank you for watching this video, Aluxer. If you found it valuable, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our awesome community. And if you're still hungry for more, we handpicked this video for you to watch next or head over to our website for more amazing content. See you tomorrow.